Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and today we're about to get into a new cleaning tool that I'm obsessed with. All right, so we all know I've worked with Nui in the past with the Nui doorbell camera and we still use it to today. I've had to use it several times in the playbacks, okay? As an FYI, they do have a sale going on right now. So if, if you are interested in that Nui camera that is for your outdoor doorbell or whatever, oh, definitely check that out. I looked it up today before I started this video. Now, so just a quick update on that. I am still using it. I love the feature of my phone ringing when someone knocks on the door and I can just answer through my phone, okay? So I'm loving that feature, still use it, still recommend it. I recommend it to all my friends as well. So just want to give you that. Now we got to get into a new product for you, a new cleaning tool. Y'all know I'm obsessed with the robot vacuums. It's no secret. The last time I did one of these, someone said that the vacuum was too expensive and that it was loud. And I was like, yeah, it's loud. Like I can hear it every night. And you know how I like to set my vacuums to certain times. Well, Nui came out with a vacuum that is very, let me, let's just say this. I think they thought about everything. They thought about the unique design of the vacuum cleaner, the style, the aesthetics, the color, the neutral tone. And there are some features on this vacuum that I haven't seen with others that I thoroughly enjoyed. Okay, let's get started. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing, open it up and see what it looks like. So of course I went ahead and unboxed it. Inside the box is the manual. So it gives you all the information on how to set up your new robot vacuum, how to get started, how to download the app and all the things. It also came with two extra dust bags. One was already included in the machine and we'll get into the dust bags in a minute. Now, opening up the machine is a beautiful, sleek design. It is neutral in color, so it doesn't really stand out, pop out, or anything like that. So it's great to put in spaces where it's just not so noticeable. And people won't be like, oh, she got a you know vacuum. It's not a stark color, right? So then after I open that up, I open up the top, and inside, of course, like I said, is the dust bag which I've never seen a robot vac with a dust bag. I'm used to the ones where you have to pop it up, pop it open, take out all the, the little container, clean it, wash it, all the things. I'm over that. <laughs> I'm over that right now. But anyway, I like the little dust bag, okay? I was like, it, yeah, okay. It was something new for me. I've never seen one with a dust bag. So I was like, okay, let's try this out, right? So I also noticed when I flipped it over that the wheel at the top where it does the circle movement so it can turn left, right, and avoid obstacles. Most vacuums do, right? However, this one for me had larger wheels on it that lets me know, okay, that when she gets her rug that she wants in her living room, it's going to be able to climb over, okay? So you can tell by the wheels, the size of the wheels, the the way the wheels have the spring on them where they can bounce in and out that it can go flat floor surfaces <laughs> to a more higher thicker pile of carpet so that was really good to see um i've had problems in the past with that also the huge roller ball that does all the suctioning doesn't have brushes it's a rubber so it's no brushes it's nothing that gets clogged and clogged up with hair to wrap around. So the new innovative design helps with that. So when you're vacuuming, you don't have to really worry about as much as that. You know how those brushes where you have to go and cut everything out because lo and behold, every time you go, it goes to vacuum, especially if you know, you're doing hair, you're wearing you know, extra hair for you. It is what it is. It just gets trapped in it, especially if you have pets, right? So yeah, speaking of, they got a little pet tool on their site that I'm interested in. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't see this. So anyway, so I went ahead and set it up in my living room space. So this is the space where I like to vacuum the most at night because of the dog. And this is this is just the area basically for me that is more makes more sense for me to set it up. Okay. So I went ahead and hooked up the the machine to the wall. You just plug it in, you put your base down, and you just set your vacuum on top. It's gonna go ahead and start charging. So it gives you the directions of pressing both of the buttons, the home button, as well as the like start button at the same time, and your Wi-Fi your wi light will blink. So at this point, this is where a lot of people get confused. I've heard this before, so I'm gonna try to explain it just a little bit. 
When you do this, the Wi-Fi will blink. You will already have the app downloaded because you're going to be excited that your vacuum is coming. So you won't even have to waste time doing that because you're going to already have your app. You're going to already be registered, right? Okay. So the app for the Nui vacuum is not the same app as the doorbell. Okay. So don't be, you know, alarmed. There is two different apps. That way it's just for your, your home, your mapping, your vacuum or whatever, right? Because it's going to map out your home. So once you do this, it's going to take you through the steps and it's going to ask you to go to your Wi-Fi. So remember, it's looking for the NUI Wi-Fi, not your home Wi-Fi, but NUI. So once you go ahead and link to the NUI system, then it's going to ask you, okay, now what's your Wi-Fi? Because we, we got the NUI system, but the NUI system needs to speak to your Wi-Fi so that we can communicate together and we can stay linked. This way, when you're on your app, you're setting a time and date for cleaning or if you just want to do specific areas you've mapped up your home you're like oh, look i don't need this thing running all night i just need you to clean this room this way you can communicate from your device through your internet to newly okay so they make it really simple for you and i actually like it so just like most robots it goes it starts off mapping your home it has the little red light that's gonna blink on it, the large screen in the front of the robot. It's kind of like a little rounded, so it can actually spin. It can just map off like quickly the size of your space, the obstacles in your space, which means like your furniture pieces, whatever you have, a plant stand, whatever's in the floor that it needs to move around, right? It's gonna map off all these areas. So for me, I just did the mapping space for my living space my bathroom, my t kids' TV room, as well as the kitchen. So from there, once that was mapped off, it took, I would say that took about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. We don't have a large downstairs area. Once the mapping was done, I was able to go in and label each space. So I have living room. I think I put kids' playroom and then like kitchen, right? So that way, if I just want kitchen done or this space done, it's just that simple. All right, so... Once that's done, I went on. I went ahead and signed up for a schedule because we normally mop around like 9.30 or so. We're done. We're in the kitchen by 8 to 8.45, maybe cleaning up for the day. The kitchen normally shuts down by 9. And so if the vacuum can start doing its thing by 9, I would say by 9.15 it has made it to my kitchen. And then from there... We'll mop later if we need to mop, right? So, because we normally sweep and mop every night. And I like the feature of it allows you to choose if on what days at what time. So for us, we have a lot of hot traffic throughout the day. And for us, once the kitchen shuts down, that's when I like the robot to work. You know, it works for us, okay? So let's talk about it. All right, so I did have a lot of dirt on the floor. <laughs> I had just moved a plant and wasted and had spilled some dirt out and I was telling them don't sweep. I'm going to let it do its thing and see how it does. I also had rice that I dropped on the floor because I've noticed in the past with rice, a lot of the vacuums would spin and spit it out. Although on the initial vacuum, it did like spin. You can feel the air coming out and it spit it out. When it came back through the second vacuum to, because this thing cleans twice, it like literally goes around the wall and it's very close to the wall, hugging the wall. And the, the actual brush that spins, that spits the dirt out so the vacuum can suck it in, is actually the longest one I've ever seen. Like these, it's really long. So it actually hugs all the curves of your home, the baseboards, I should say. I love that. So when I first saw it, I was like, oh man, spit out the rice. It just moved the rice around. But then when it went around for the second cleaning, it's like it moved it so that it can come back through and vacuum it. I was like, okay, <laughs> excuse me. All right. So I like the fact that even on flat surfaces, when you have a rug, it can do the flat surface, climb the rug, clean the rug and go around. So it, it did really well with obstacles. So I have my bookshelves in my living space and I have a few cords that's on the ground and it was able to kind of like move around in the course and get tangled up in there at all. So I like that. I like the fact that it's not loud. So there's options on the actual app. You can go in and you can do like normal cleaning. You can do, is it normal or I have it all here because y'all know I 
Y'all know me, I was like, and I'm not a big, huge app fan. If you know, I'm not a huge app fan, but I like this one. I'm gonna have to probably do it on this phone and screenshot what I'm looking at. But I'm looking at kitchen, living space, and my playroom, right? So on here, you have auto, you have silent, normal, and max. So it doesn't have to be loud. It's, it's not as, as like some of these other ones I've had in the past. So I'm enjoying that. I like the fact that literally 9 o'clock, once again, because it's to my Wi-Fi system, it knows the time, right? Because it is Wi-Fi capable. It'll just automatically start back. I don't have to think anything about it. I just took the dust bag out and it just told me that the dust bag was removed. And I was like, okay. So it has been cleaning for, this is the fourth day, for four days. And it's pretty full in here. I would say like, well, it's not pretty full. I would say like this. It's a lot of dust in here. It's kind of gross, but look at all that dust. And mind you, we sweet too. So this is crazy. You know how sometimes you'd be like, you're clean and you'll go back with like, one of those microfiber like towel uh, swiffer things and you'll be like my floor is still dirty uh, you can also order more of these on the side if you need more i'll probably just, just dump mine and then just put it back because it's not full but it's filling up really quick and it's food in here so it actually picks up quite a lot <laughs> yeah i didn't even know it was that dusty but i told you all my house holds dust and even though we changed the filter out every first of the month even though, well, we got a new AC, so we'll see how that goes. But we're in and out the house a lot. And unfortunately, my house holds dust. And I, I don't know what else to do about it. And so this is this is proof. It's a lot of dust. Okay? So this is why I absolutely love, like, the RoboVacs. I feel like they get everything. They get so much that we don't see. So that's why I'm a big fan of it. All right. So when I go over here to the app, I can see each room and each room is labeled. I actually see the dot where my vacuum is actually located. And like I said, I can go in and I can say when I want it to vacuum and where I would like it to vacuum. So there is a smart assistant located on the app as well. So if you have Alexa, you can hook it up to your Alexa and give it the command like you would do for smart plugs. Speaking of smart plugs, we knew we also had smart plugs available. Once the vacuum has done its mapping of your home and you decide that one of the rooms you do not want included, right? Maybe that's one of the rooms where you feel like, no, this is the room where we just sweep and mop ourselves or whatever. You can go in and edit the map and just eliminate that, eliminate that room as well. That way it's not even a part of the mapping system okay um, it tells you the area square foot that it has cleaned it tells you how long it took to clean the total number of cleanings and the total distance driven crazy <laughs> crazy i love it it's just unique and it's different and i like it and it's not loud it's not loud and i like the color of it it's aesthetics for me it is what it is some people you know some people are like me and they will appreciate what exactly what I mean is the aesthetics. And once you have the app, you can always add other robots as well from the same company or whatever. And then that way you can just have maybe upstairs going downstairs or if you have a robot for like a huge basement area, then you have one upstairs, just put them all on the same app and go from there. So that's pretty much it for this vacuum. It is a high power vacuum. I will put all the specs and everything on the screen, more information on it. Like I said, you can order any, you can order more accessories online and there's other tools and pieces to it. If you have any problems with connecting or you need to speak with customer service, they're available online as well. What else? The shipping is really good. I don't have anything negative to say. <laughs> I don't have anything negative to say. I like it. And then if you just randomly want to clean and you're standing next to it, press the button and clean. Or just, you know, randomly, you had a company come over, you want to get on the house clean after they leave, did you? let it go, okay? So shout out to Nui for working with me again. I appreciate you all. This collaboration was amazing. I love Nui products, so I'm a huge fan of them. I just need to get some more cameras in the house from them. I like the clarity of their videos and the colors or whatever. So, because my outdoor camera don't look nothing like my old doorbell okay that's all i'm gonna say like i can see 
all the way around. Anyway, I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you all are having an amazing day. Let me know, do you have a robot vac? If you do, what brand do you have? Have you ever heard of Nui, the company itself? And are you interested in purchasing a robo vacuum? Do you think they even worth it? Are you old school and you just want to sweep up? Because we do sweep and clean. Y'all see us sweep and clean all the time. However, there's a lot that we don't get. There's a lot that we don't get. Evidently, because every time the robo vac, I can sweep and mop, y'all. I'm serious. And the floor will dry. And I will still have, like, this dust stuff. And it's, it's not really dog dander from Quest. It's like dust. I don't know. It's really weird. But it's, like, full. So, anyway... Listen, we got allergies around here. We're just trying to keep the house allergy dust free, okay? Anyway, we can. So I'll see y'all in the next video. I hope you all have an amazing day. Peace and blessings.